Hi, and thanks for watching the Tracer Plus YouTube channel. In this short tutorial, Howard Heckman will demonstrate how to create a fully branded mobile application using Tracer Plus Publisher. Thanks for watching. This is what you guys would see when you first download the application uh, and install it. It will open to this screen here where you can start a new project, you can open an existing project, or you can open a sample from our website. Uh, for today's demonstration, I thought I'd actually download uh, something from our website, one of our online samples. Uh, an easy way to get started is to use our online templates that we already have created from our Solution Center. To do that, you would go to the home screen of Tracer Plus Desktop and click on this Samples button here. This actually just loads a view from our website of different pre-configured applications that we've already designed and uploaded to our website. And you guys can download for free and go ahead and change them if you'd like or just use them as they are. So for today, I thought I'd download an inspection form, this fire extinguisher inspection and go ahead and deploy this to the device. So you can see this is a fully configured application. It's for fire extinguisher inspections. And if I just simp uh, finish this uh, import process here, when the download is complete, it will open up the application directly in Tracer Plus Desktop. And you can go ahead and modify it at this point. So you can see here, it's been configured for a fire extinguisher inspection. Uh, it has certain fields here for the inspector that's doing the inspection and the extinguisher number, location, and so on but it's a fully configured application that you can go ahead and modify or deploy as is to a Tracer Plus client. So the first thing I'm going to do actually is to show you this application in its Tracer Plus state or branded as Tracer Plus. So what I'll do is go up to the Tools menu, go to Tools, Build, Deploy, and I'm going to deploy this to this uh, Zebra or Motorola TC55 that I have connected to my um, PC here. And you can see that is, uh, I'm sharing the screen on that Android device. Uh, here in this window. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, perform the deployment. So this goes, this deployment process will take what you've created in Tracer Plus Desktop, packages it up and deploys it to the handheld uh, so that the Tracer Plus mobile client on the device can now, is now loaded up with these settings. So you can see this one here has one form called extinguisher inspection. So if I were to go ahead now and open up Tracer Plus on the handheld, when it opens up, you'll see it's the Tracer Plus mobile client. So it's fully brand, branded with Tracer Plus. Uh, if I wanted to register it, it would be registered based on a Tracer Plus license. It has the PTS company logo here and some of the other information for the website and so on, all on this home screen uh, that's fully branded Tracer Plus. Because again, it's really just a project uh, form that you're packaging and deploying to the handheld um, as a Tracer Plus project. So I'll go ahead now and uh, open up the form. You'll be able to see here again, it's, it's branded as Tracer Plus on the top of the screen. If I go ahead and click on the ex uh, ex inspection portion of this form, you can see it's the form that you have uh, set up within Tracer Plus desktop here. And it's just inside of this Tracer Plus uh, kind of client that's loaded on the handheld. <clears throat> but now let's go back and say that, let's just say for, uh, for an, as an example today that you guys had designed this inspection form and you want to brand it as your own and not have it on the mobile device as Tracer Plus. But I'm going to jump over to the Tracer Plus desktop publisher settings. So to do that, I'm going to go to the project tab. When you have Tracer Plus desktop publisher, you'll see the new publish option here in the, in the project settings. And from here is where you're going to go ahead and configure all of the settings to brand this project as your own. I'm going to go ahead and start naming this. Uh, let's do it's an Acme. Uh, application. The company is Acme Enterprises. Website www.acme.com. And the uh, email address, let's do sales at acmeco.com. Because you're really just putting in your own information. Uh, so let's call it maybe Acme. Uh, the shortcut, okay, I'll, actually I'll go through and describe some of these. The shortcut is what's uh, the text that's displayed <clears throat> underneath the application icon. So if you're using a standard Tracer Plus uh, application or client, it says Tracer Plus 9 down below it. So I'm going to go ahead and I want to create an application that's called Acme Fire, and that's going to label this text underneath my icon after I install it as Acme Fire as opposed to the Tracer Plus 9. Uh, the next thing I'll do is give it a name. Let's call it Exting uh, Fire Extinguisher. Extinguisher inspection. 
Okay, so that's the application name. That's what will show up actually when you open up the application on the top of the Android uh, status bar. You'll see instead of Tracer Plus, you'll see, see uh, extinguisher inspection. The launcher image is the image that's on the home screen of Tracer Plus up on the top. Uh, and that would be what is displayed as Tracer Plus up a, kind of on the application uh, toolbar there by the home button. So I'm going to go ahead and change this one to I have some images here for Acme. I'm going to change this one to be this Acme Co uh, bitmap file. The company logo, this is what's displayed on the uh, home screen of Tracer Plus when you first open up the application. I'm going to go ahead and change it to this Fire Equipment Service Center. Uh, the application image. This is what is displayed uh, also on the home screen and also on the help about screen when you first open it up. So this could be something uh, like the fire extinguisher um, JPEG here as well. Let me go ahead and select that. The application icon is what's shown on the home screen of, Trace, or of Android when you're in the programs list. So default Tracer Plus has the T Plus icon. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and select uh, this fire launcher.ico, I think is the one. I think is the one that I want. I'm going to go ahead and select that. Um, the product ID, now this is important for licensing. If I were to leave this blank, when I license my new application that I'm creating here and when I put the registration code in to unlock the software, it's still a Tracer Plus license code uh, to register your own software. You would go ahead and change this product ID. Now this is a, a maximum of four characters or numbers that you would enter in here. And it could just be something as simple as Acme in this case. Or maybe if you wanted to do this as a version type registration, you could say ACM1. And if you ever released an upgrade to this and you wanted to require a new registration code, you could do something like ACM2. So every time you change that product ID, the application that's installed on the device will require a new registration code. Something important to note that you wouldn't, if you enter something here, you're not going to be able to take a Tracer Plus 9 registration code and use it in your product that you're creating here in the publisher setting. Okay, so I'll leave that as it is. Uh, now I'm going to go over, I'll talk a little bit about the installation options you have here when you build your application. So the one different selection you need to make here based on your platform is how you'd like to package it and install it. If you're using an Android-based device, you would select the Android, .apk, Android Package APK option here. And this basically will say that when I hit this Create Installer, it's going to create an APK file. And an APK file is just like an EXD on an Android device. It's also the same thing you would upload to the Google Play Store as your product that then could be placed up there for sale. Um, so it's just a single install file that's deployed to Android-based devices. The CAB files here for Windows CE and Windows Mobile, those are basically the same thing, but only on the Windows platform. So if you wanted to create a CAB file that you could distribute to a mobile device and have the user just tap on that CAB file to do the installer, you would go ahead and select a Windows CE CAB file or Windows Mobile CAB file. <coughs> Excuse me. The last option you have here is the Windows Mobile slash CE PC based installer. And this is an EXE file. If you were to create this, it creates an EXE that you would run on a Windows-based PC when you have a mobile device, a Windows CE or a Windows mobile-based device in the cradle on that PC. And that will allow you to create a single installer that the user would just double-click on their uh, PC and it would install over to the device. And it would make the decision as to whether it was a Windows mobile connected device or a Windows CE device. But if you wanted to create something that they can install directly on the handheld, use the .cab file. Okay, so for the demo today, I'm going to go ahead and create an APK file. So the only thing you need to do here is cre click Create Installer. I'm going to go ahead and create this as uh, acmefire.apk. I'm going to hit Save. And now this goes through the APK build process. So it's basically taking your Tracer Plus project, uh, wrapping it into an APK file, creating that full file so that you can then distribute that APK file as you want. <clears throat> when I open this application up, you're going to see now it has my new logo that I had selected from the uh, image selection area here within the um, uh, publisher setting. 
It has my own Acme Enterprises at acme.com website along with the company logo. I can go ahead and click try it. And you can see now it's still branded as Acme Fire app. Uh, it has our extinguisher inspection application that we had seen in the, um, the Tracer Plus project, Tracer Plus branded product. If I open that, it's still the same form that I had created within Tracer Plus and Tracer Plus desktop, but now it's branded as the Acme Fire app. And if I go up to the Help About screen, same information here. It gives some of the device information and so on, but it also has our company logo as well as our company name there, Acme Enterprises. Uh, it has the contact in us information based on the email address that you entered, and it's sales at acmeco.com. Okay, so that's a fully branded uh, Tracer Plus application that's been packaged as its own APK with its own project settings built within Tracer Plus Desktop, and it's branded as this Acme Enterprises application. Um, the registration process would be basically the same as Tracer Plus. You would go ahead and have the user enter the redemption uh, link that sent to them here and it goes it will automatically regist register the product and unlock everything for you within um, your new Acme Fire application that's fully branded. So there'd be no uh, Tracer Plus emails or forms or anything that you would need to fill out on our website. It's done automatically through our online registration process. Okay. So that's uh, I think everything that I wanted to talk about today to kind of show you how you can brand your own Tracer Plus desktop projects directly inside of Tracer Plus Desktop and brand them as their own with your own company information, company logos, and then distribute the project as you want. And that wraps up this tutorial. We hope you found it valuable. Please take the time to subscribe to us on YouTube. And if you also have time, check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn using the links in the screen above. Thanks so much.